This one is called Block Breakers, and what it's going to do is it's going to have a paddle that's going to hit a ball into the air, it's going to break, break a bunch of blocks. And so let me show you how this works. So we're going to click on full screen, we're going to press the green flag, and then you see we're going to move our block or our paddle back and forth. The ball goes up into the air, it uh, destroys the blocks, and you see the ball bounces off. So we can sort of actuate this paddle to go back and forth. So let's stop this now. Let's go inside and build it. So essentially we've got five different sprites here. We've got a paddle sprite, we've got a ball sprite, we've got a block one, we've got a block two, we've got a block three. So let's go ahead and start with the uh, the paddle. So we're going to clear all this existing code out of here. What we're going to do is we're going to start with that paddle. So the first thing that we want to do is we're going to get our sales uh, event. We're going to get ourselves two wind green flag clicked. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make that left right movement. So in control we're going to get two forever loops and we're going to connect those right up there. And then inside of those forever loops we're going to put if then conditional statements. So we're going to grab one if then conditional statement. We're going to grab a second one. And then similar to how we normally build these uh, controls out, what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to look for sensing and we're going to say if the key left arrow is pressed, we're going to want to do something. And what that's going to be is we're going to change X by negative 10 so that it moves to the left. Um, so we're going to get a change X by negative 10. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to sensing. We're going to get ourselves a key space press. We're going to change that to right arrow. And then we're going to go back to motion. And we're going to get ourselves a change X by 10. So now we've got the control, the paddle that's able to move left and right. The next thing that we want to do is we're going to get ourselves another wing green flag clicked from events. And then we're going to get ourselves a forever loop. Within that forever loop, we're going to get ourselves another if then conditional statement. And what we want to do is this is going to essentially say what's going to happen when it's touching the ball. So we're going to look for sensing and we're going to grab a touching mouse pointer. We're going to do the drop down. We're going to say if we're touching the ball, then it's going to do something. So we're going to go into variables. We're going to create a couple variables. The first one is going to be X speed. The next variable is going to be Y speed. Another variable that we're going to make is block position. And we're going to leave it there for right now. So as you see, when we create variables, they sure show up on the screen. If you want them to go away, we can unclick these checkboxes here, but we're going to leave them checked for right now as we're sort of going through and building this. And so what we're going to do is then we're going to get a set block. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set X speed. Then we're going to get ourselves another set and we're going to set our Y speed. And what we want is we want to be able to randomly pick the, uh, the X speed. So we're going to have that be a pick random and we're going to have that vary between negative four and four. And then for the Y speed, what we're going to do is we're going to get a multiplier. And so we're going to grab this multiplier here. And we're going to go back to variables. We're going to drop that Y speed in there and we're going to have um, that Y speed to be varied by a negative one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a weight block. We're going to have this weight for one tenth of a second. So now we've got our paddle all built out. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the ball. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear out all this code in here. We're going to start off with the wind green flag clicked. The very first thing we want to do with the ball is we're going to go into looks. We're going to get ourselves a show block. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we want our ball to start at a go to XY. We're going to set that at zero, zero. So that the ball sort of starts off at the, the middle of the screen. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves um, a couple set X speed and set Y speed. So we're going to set our X speed to zero. And then we're going to set our Y speed to a negative five. So we're gonna program that in there. We're gonna say negative five. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves a forever loop. 
Um, and inside that forever loop, what we want to do is we want to be able to change our X speed and our Y speed. So we're going to put a change X by, and we're going to change the Y by. And then within both of those, what we're going to do is we're going to change these to X speed. And we're going to change this next one to Y speed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a couple of different uh, if then conditional statements. So we're going to go into control. We're going to get ourselves one if then, we're going to get ourselves a second if then, we're going to get ourselves a third if then, we're going to get ourselves a final if then. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to do a comparative operator. Um, so what we're going to start off with is a, a less than. Um, and so the thing that we're going to want to check for in this one is we want to check for our X position. So in motion, we're going to grab an X position. We want to do something if it's less than 200, negative 235. What we're going to do in that case is we're going to set our X speed to an operator. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that multiplier operator again, and we're going to drop that in there and we're going to go back to variables. And we're going to get our x speed. We're going to have that multiplied by a negative one. We're going to go back into here. And now what we want to do is we want to grab the same sort of thing. So we're going to go back to operators, but this time we want to check if it's greater than 235. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to get ourselves our x position from motion. We're going to drop that right in there. And then the next thing that we're going to do, if it's X position is greater than 235, what we're going to do is we're going to, once again, we're going to set that X speed to X speed times a negative one. So we're going to change that there. We're going to get X speed, and then we're going to get that multiplier operator. What this does is it basically reverses course for that ball. So uh, we go back into variables, we get ourselves an X speed, and we're going to multiply this by a uh, negative one. The next thing that we're going to do is now we want to check for our Y position. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a, another uh, operator and this is going to be a, a greater than. And we want to know is our Y position, let me move this up a little bit so we can see. We want to know if our Y position is greater than 175, essentially like is the ball at the top of the screen. So we go back to motion. Um, and we're going to grab ourselves a Y position. And if Y position is greater than 175, what we're going to do is we're going to set our Y speed to that Y speed times a negative one. So we grab that one and then we're going to get that multiplier operator. And we're going to go back and we're going to get our Y position. I mean, our Y speed from variables and we're going to multiply that by a negative one. And then the final thing that we want to check for is if it's at the bottom of the screen, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to operators and what we're going to do is we're going to get that less than operator. And what we're going to do is we want to know is our Y position less than a negative 175. And if our Y position is less than a negative 175, what we know is that essentially the ball is off the screen. And so what we want to do is we want to hide it, essentially stopping the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into looks and we're going to get ourselves a hide block. All right, so that is the code for the ball. And now what we're going to do is we're going to build out the code for the block, for block one. So let's clear this out of here. I'm going to clear this out of there. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to say, we're going to get ourselves an event block. We're going to say when green flag clicked. And what we're going to do is that variable that we set before, block position. What we're going to do is we're going to set that block position to a negative 240. And then what we want to do is we want to hide that. Um, you know that typically when we hide stuff, what we're going to do is we're going to be creating clones of them. So we're going to go back into control. We're going to get ourselves a repeat loop. We're going to set this as eight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change that block position by 70. So we're going to grab ourselves a change block position. And we're going to have that go by 70. Um, and what that's going to do is create essentially blocks across the top of the screen. And so what we're going to do then is we need to have this create a clone of itself. And this is going to be in, um, in control. And so now we've basically done the first part of this. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to give it instructions to what to do when you start as a clone. So when I start as clone, first thing I'm going to do is I want to show up 
So I'm gonna get a show block. The next thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna get myself a go to XY. So we want this thing to basically go to the XY position, but the XY position for the X, we want it to be at block position and the Y we want it to be at 80. Um, remember that when we had it started, we have three different levels of blocks and this is what this is gonna replicate. Uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is now we're gonna go into control. We're gonna get ourselves a forever loop. We're gonna put an if then conditional statement inside of there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves a touching. Um, and we want this to basically say what happens when we're touching the ball. And so what's gonna happen there is we're gonna go into looks. If we're touching the ball, we wanna hide ourselves. Um, and then what we wanna do is we wanna change that Y speed. So we're gonna go and we're gonna get ourselves a variable. We're gonna say set our Y speed to that multiplication operator. So we're gonna grab that multiplier, gonna drop that in there. We're gonna change this to Y speed. Uh oh, we had it pop out of there. Gonna put that back there. Gonna do negative one. And then what we're gonna do is we're once again, we're gonna wait for one second or one tenth of a second. So we drop that right in there. Gonna do 0.1 seconds. And then we're gonna do that for block two as well. So we're gonna drop this out of here. The numbers are gonna be a little different for this one. So for block two, I'm gonna go through this a little bit faster. We're gonna get ourselves a wing green flat click. And then we're gonna to go to variables. We're gonna say set our block position. And this one, we're gonna start this at a negative 240. Uh, then we're gonna go into looks. We're gonna hide. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves another repeat. So we're gonna get a repeat. We're gonna set this as eight. And then we're gonna create a clone of ourselves. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, when I start as a clone, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show. And once I show, what I'm gonna do is I want it to go to an XY position. So I'll go to XY, and then we're gonna have this thing set itself as block position. Uh, then we're gonna have the Y be a 120. Um, now we're gonna get ourselves a forever loop. And inside that forever loop, we're gonna have an if then. Once again, we're gonna sense whether or not we're touching that ball. And if we're touching the ball, what we wanna do is we wanna hide. So we grab a high block. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our Y speed to Y speed times a negative one, so we grab this one. We're gonna change that to Y speed. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that multiplication operator. We're gonna drop that Y speed back in there. And we're gonna multiply that by a negative one. And then as before, what we wanna do is we wanna wait a tenth of a second. And then we've got our final block that we're gonna do, block three. So let's clear this code out of here. Clear this code out of here. So what we're gonna do, we get a win green flag clicked. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a set block position. We're gonna set that block position to, to negative 240. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide. And then we're gonna repeat and control. Instead of repeat 10, we're gonna have it repeat eight. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a clone of ourselves. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say what happens when you start as a clone. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show. And then after we show, what we're gonna do is we wanna have it go to an XY position. So we're gonna have this go to block position. And then we're gonna have this one start at 160. So the next thing we're gonna do is before, we're gonna go into control. We're gonna get ourselves a forever loop. We're gonna get ourselves an if then. We're gonna sense whether or not we're touching the ball. If we're touching the ball, then what we're gonna do is we wanna hide. So we're gonna grab that hide block. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves a set. We're gonna change that to Y speed. We're gonna get that multiplication operator. And then we're gonna have Y speed go by negative one. And then finally, we're gonna wait a tenth of a second. 
So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see how this works. So we're gonna go full screen. Actually, let's clear these variables out so we can't see them. And then we're gonna click on that. We're gonna press the green flag. And we see that the block is our created. Goes up, the ball goes up. So hope you all enjoyed this project. This is a, a fun one. And uh, we're going to go ahead and stop. If you like these projects, go ahead and give us a like, a comment, or a subscribe. And uh, we'll see you for the next video. Thank you so much.